What's up guys, Apache NiFi 1.14 is out. In this video, we are going to install Apache NiFi 1.14 in our Ubuntu system. So let's get started. Now, this is my AWS console uh, virtual machine. So what I'm going to do is install this NiFi here. So let's see what is inside this. And yeah, there are two folders. I don't have to worry about it. Just go to. So with the first thing is we have to install Java. So let's see the Java version. Java hyphen version. So I have to install this one. So I will use this 14. Okay, so I have installed this. So it is installing Java for me. If you haven't provisioned your EC2 instance yet, there is a description in the description section of this video. The link to provisioning EC2 instances is mentioned. Do check it out. Now my Java installed. Then next what we have to do is install this. Download this Apache NiFi Win. So you can get from from here Apache NiFi. Fine. Now, inside this, the first link it to it, and uh, in this first link, you will get here in the download section, download NiFi, and okay. So this is because I am using Ubuntu. Uh, you have to use the star dot gz this one, and so hit this one. Okay, so it will get to this link so i have to wget this one so i have already prepared one command for this so this is my command what i will do is copy it wget command and then paste it here then hit enter okay so it is in downloading the tar from the website okay so it meanwhile it download Wait for it to download. okay so it is downloaded now let open one port this one port is quite important so i am opening it from here hit enter okay so ip tables is now open port now what i have to do is i will get extract the star so let's see where is the star i will type um, clear this screen first and type ls so this is the tar file fine so i have in order to extract the star file what i have to do is use nifi 1.0 and tar tar minus xvf enter it now my tar is extracting okay let it extract okay now it has been extracted now let's get into this folder this one hit enter ls cd into conf and inside this there is one nifi dot properties and this one this file vi this one okay so i have opened in vi editor now get down get down 
no 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 see this one this property so here what they have done is since this is the property which has been configured in 1.12 from that only so what it has is that our nifi will only start in our ip that is accessible from this private ip fine so we have to give this public ip in order to access this from our local because our application is hosted on aws server so what i will do is i will copy this public ip and paste it here now escape colon wq right now since this is exited what we have to do is now start in order to start it, i will go get back cd dot dot and then clear screen now inside bin bin I, in order to start i will use this command bin slash nifty dot pro start dot as such start okay so it is a starting wait for a while okay now let's get this logs slash logs slash um logs in order to get this log just use this command get logs if we have dot log now okay so this found application is getting started wait for a while get it get it okay so my application is running over here fine and since in nifi 1.14 itself ssl is configured prior so we don't have to configure ssl so it is already directing in our port 8443 this case of ssl is not in 1.13 or below versions but it will be available in upper version so in order to access make sure you you will store this these two one fine so i have i first i will copy this dns and then get here paste it here okay so go to advanced and proceed it okay what is the problem okay i am now able to okay so this is how we will access it you can try two three times and it will automatically proceed okay so this is one now i will copy it from here this one is the username fine i will paste it here and the other one is the password i will go and paste it here login it okay so i have logged in successfully i think so yeah so this is how i am able to access it now the next thing we have to do is to change this username and password and define our own username and password now we can drop any processor and perform jobs here so fine let's log it out and set our own username and password instead of using this one what i have to do is first stop it so 
I will use this command stop. Fine. So my application is getting stopped. Wait for it. Okay. Now what I have to do is fire this command. So in this command, and if we set single user credential, what is happening is this is the username and this is the password. So what I will do is copy this command and paste it here. Now my user identity is proper provided is proceeded and it is stored in this file a login identity providers.xml. Now what I have to do is restart my application. So start. Okay, so this is starting. And then I will check the logs. This one, get the logs. Get the logs. Okay, so it is listening here. It's initialized 14 seconds ago. So now we are reloading it. Now let's type my username. So and my password is this one throw it at it one two three so with the red one two three we had paste it here then hit login so fine now i am able to log in with my user defined login credential so this is how you will define your own credentials but in production scenario you have to configure capro security if you are using in pro it in nifi in production and use LDAP or Capros, or you can also use AWS services like AWS SAM. So this is how we are going to install and configure Apache NiFi 1.14 in our Ubuntu Linux. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe, like, share the video, and for more support, feel free to visit our website rtech.in.